I do think climate is going to continue to be, you know, the climate isn't going to quit changing. And uh, that's just a fundamental thing because of human population that, that we are over 7 billion. Um, in the 50s, we were sort of at, at one and a half billion, roughly. And so it's a different world today. And, and um, United Nations thinks that we'll be approaching 10 billion, maybe not quite reach it in 2050, 9.6 or something. Uh, so how will the world be, be then? And how will climate be? And how will that impact species? Species are going extinct, but also new species are coming into existence. So um, it's, it's an amazing period to be in. If we lived in the time of the dinosaurs, there was some change then too, but not over human lifetime. You know, in a given person's life, of course there weren't any people at the time of the dinosaurs, but you know what I mean, early on in human history, uh, a person would face the same environmental condition throughout their life. That's not the case now. From when you're young to when you're old, the, the world changes. So you have to be adaptable. and. Um, and you have to be able to understand the changes so you can make good decisions. But there are new fields being created all the time also out of combinations. Um, I mean, when I came here to Goddard, uh, we didn't have personal computers. We had what we called mainframes. And uh, if you were lucky, you got a slow little terminal that you could talk to the mainframe. So the internet wasn't around then. It's hard to imagine days like that. <laughs> but we didn't have the internet. Uh, so, I mean, to me it's amazing that you can go online now and control a telescope and decide where to look, <laughs> or a microscope. Um, you can control experiments online. Uh, you can talk to people anywhere on the planet online. I mean, if you had told me that in the 1950s when I started in, into school, that that would be the case. I would have thought that you were reading some really weird science fiction fantasy stuff, you know. Uh, and some of the things that were in science fiction then it haven't happened, like we don't have the Jetsons uh, cars and things, but other things weren't even imagined in the science fiction at that time. Uh, and I think the same will happen. I mean, 30 years from now, the same will have things that we can't imagine right now. So stay open to change. and, and uh, don't be afraid to change what you're doing, but also don't be afraid to go deeply into what you're doing at the moment and work with other people. Um, you know, uh, also when I was in graduate school, we were kind of taught to work alone pretty much. It wasn't encouraged to do teamwork. Now I'd say that's, that's improved. People realize that in real life, in the works environment, we're all working together as a team. Uh, and. Uh, that will continue, that won't change. So I think that's a good thing. And sort of, it's not only your technical skills, but how you interact with other people who have skills different from your own and, and different kinds of communication. Um, you don't want to just talk to people and work with people who are like you and agree with you. Try to, try to be in a diverse team.